One of the problems with corruption is that you know when you start, you don't know when you stop. The, the prospect of going to jail is very real these days. Bribery and corruption is like a cancer, a cancer that eats away at the very fabric of society. The basic elements of an FCPA violation are as follows. A corrupt intent or purpose. There has to be an offer, a payment, a promise to pay, or an authorization of a payment to a third party. The third party needs to be a foreign public official. Public corruption is the top priority of the criminal division of the FBI. It's a bit of a Russian roulette thing, I think, because you never know if you're going to be the company that gets caught. Just don't pay. There was a time when making payoffs and buying contracts seemed like a good idea to the people who ran large corporations. But in 1977, the U.S. government was the first to take extraordinary measures to discourage these illicit transactions by passing the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. More than 30 years later, commercial bribery is a crime almost everywhere. I'm Alexandra Raghi, President of Trace. This video will explain more fully the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act and similar international laws. As regulatory agencies ratchet up enforcement with more staff and enhanced international cooperation, companies must ensure that their employees are not violating anti-bribery laws by making inappropriate payments. You really don't want to be the target of one of these investigations. My goal is to show you that well-run companies can be compliant and remain competitive in the global business environment. Compliance with anti-bribery regulations has become an important corporate priority. Multinational companies must find ways to compete internationally without breaking their own anti-bribery laws or the laws of the countries in which they operate. Any company that's new to the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act or any anti-corruption measures really needs one piece of advice. Get up to speed fast. If you don't get up to speed fast, the government has a whole variety of tools and they will find you. And if your compliance program is not up to par, you're going to be punished for it. It's critical to have an anti-bribery program in today's environment, or for that matter, any environment. First of all, it's the right way to do business. We found that dealing honestly, straightforwardly, and in compliance with the law makes us more competitive. If you have a culture of bribery, you will have a culture of dishonesty internally. And what kind of people does that attract? It attracts dishonest people. Companies have to find ways to market aggressively to win business without compromising their ethical standards. It's very hard in this day and age, whether you're an American company or a company that trades in any of the Western European or U.S. exchanges, uh, 30 years after the passage of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, 10 years after the passage of the OECD Convention Against Corruption, there's almost no excuse today not to have a thriving compliance program. And beyond simply adopting an anti-bribery policy, it's important to be sure it is well-tailored and with sufficient controls to be effective. There's a direct correlation in my experience, not a precise one, but a direct correlation between those that have invested in compliance and those who haven't and end up being prosecuted. So if you invest in a compliance program, I can't guarantee it, but I can give you a pretty high level of certainty it means that you're less likely to become the target of a government investigation. To remain competitive, companies today need to be in every corner of the world, even in places where corruption may be commonplace. Companies really aren't pulling out. And so, uh, because of that, companies don't have a choice, in my opinion, but to really focus on compliance and to train their employees well and train them regularly. It's pretty clear that sliding a briefcase full of cash to a foreign official in some darkened back corner in order to close a deal is illegal. But not everything is so obvious. There are gray areas that can be confusing and vague. The Foreign Corrupt Practices Act and all of these statutes are so complicated these days that a business opportunity, some sort of a free trip, something that somebody might not think of at all as a bribe, is in fact a violation of federal criminal law that can land an employee and the company in jail. That's why it's important to be specific about your company's policies. Most employees, given management support and pointed in the right direction, will do the right thing. Nobody in any company I've ever prosecuted or defended woke up one morning and said, I'm going to pay a bribe, I'm going to violate the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. They find themselves in a difficult position 
they make a bad judgment to try to get some business, and they find themselves on the short end of an investigation. If they understand the red flags, the warning signs, when they wake up in the morning, they'll end the day in a much better place than they might have. Global businesses must deal with legal ambiguities every day. They have to find a balance that enables them to work to a high ethical standard while remaining competitive. Companies bear the brunt of anti-bribery enforcement. The enforcement agencies tackle the supply side, companies that offer or pay bribes and not the demand side, the government officials that demand or accept them. FCPA enforcement is principally about tackling the supply side of the fund bribery problem. But there is a demand side of the, of the equation, and that, that's important as well. And the U.S. government uh, broadly, and the Justice Department in particular, do take significant efforts to work on the demand side of the problem. We provide uh, technical assistance and training to foreign law enforcement counterparts, uh, to anti-corruption agencies that are working hard in the developing world to deal with um, their domestic corruption problem. Many of us working to end commercial bribery in the global marketplace are confident that it is possible to do business successfully and ethically. But I believe that you can do business anywhere in the world, legally and successfully. Now, I believe in some places it takes a fair bit of resources, oversight. It takes a lot of company energy in terms of training and review of a whole variety of transactions. But I don't believe there's any country in the world that a company cannot do business in, even if the corruption climate is very, very significant. With the U.S. Department of Justice and the SEC keeping a close watch on U.S. companies, it is increasingly likely that if a company is paying bribes or engaging in any corporate malfeasance, those involved will be caught.